I'm not going to labour on it too much today. I just want to point out some of the f- a few things that we talked about last week. As Christians, our view of stewardship or our view of returning to God, a portion of what he has given us, is simply us growing in maturity as a disciple. As we come to know and love God more and we understand and fully appreciate that everything we have is a gift from him, we naturally want to return to him through our thanks, through our worship, a portion. And that's what offering is all about. And as we gratefully and willingly say, Lord, I'm offering back to you a small portion of what you've given to me first, we are acknowledging that everything belongs to him. And so it's easy if we acknowledge everything belongs to you, Lord, I am simply the manager, and therefore it's very easy for me to offer a little bit back to you. It's really a statement of belief. If we believe that, it becomes simple. It becomes difficult if we don't believe it. If we don't believe it belongs to God, but it belongs to us, it becomes a hard thing to do. But if we think, yes, this does, every single thing belongs to God, it's easy to return a bit to him. The scripture that we heard in Malachi, you can see that God, um, God talks to his people quite directly. Quite directly when he says, You've robbed me. And the the nation said, how on earth did we rob you? What do you mean we robbed you? And the Lord says, after everything I gave you, after I've provided for you so abundantly, you forgot me in your heart. You went on your merry way, forgetting that I was the source of everything that's good and holy and worthy in your life. You neglected your offerings to me. You What you did was that you kept for yourself that which I asked to be returned to me. But instead of God saying, oh, that's terrible, what he said was, I encourage you, take up your responsibility. And when you do that, you will find the blessings will be so great, you won't be able to store them up. That's the sort of God that we have. He's not one that is vindictive or cranky or angry, but our God says, do you have a heart of gratitude? Do you have a heart of worship? Do you have a heart that recognizes that I'm at the center of everything? And when you do, when we act that out in our lives through our stewardship, we can be confident that our God will continue to bless us. Now, I need to say again, God does never promise us wealth. Never. I'm not saying that if we invest so much money by giving, God will bless us with wealth. That's not true. That's bad teaching. It's false teaching. But God will provide for us everything that we need. He promises that. He promises that what we need to to have life, life abundantly, and for us to be partners in his mission, he will provide He will provide in a way where we are, um, when we have everything that we could possibly want. So, as we think about this, as we think about the incredible opportunities, do you know how lucky we are, how blessed we are to be part of this community with the opportunities that are right in front of us? With everything that's happening here, with this incredibly gifted congregation, what God is calling us to do in mission. And he's asking us all to evaluate our treasure, our time, our talent and saying, do you recognize that everything comes from me? And are you willing to return a portion to me as your worship? As a statement of belief that everything belongs to me? And thirdly, confident that I will look after your needs completely. Because that's the nature of our God. Lastly, you should have received, when you came in, one of these, a pledge card. There were some, were handed out last week as well, and we'll hand them out next week. 
what we'd ask you to do, and this is completely anonymous, 100% anonymous, but it's really important for us as we start to plan for next year. If you're ready to do it today, fantastic. Tick what you pledge to give to the Lord and throw it in the offering bowl. If not, take it home, bring it back. For the next few weeks, we'll be collecting these. But uh, this is a, a spiritual act where this is something that you're prayerfully considering and, 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 and pledging to God. It also helps us in our planning. So here's the pledge cards. We'll be handing them out today and next week. We'll be collecting them for the next few weeks. Why don't we pray? Lord, we do thank you for everything that you've given us so incredibly generously. And we know, Lord, that it is our responsibility to use the things that you give us wisely and according to your will. So we ask you now, Lord, to soften our hearts, to encourage us to see everything that you have given us, to overflow with gratitude and to return to you that portion that portion that you warmed our heart to give. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen.